Hey guys, so today we are going to be making a drum set cake for my cousin Jeremy. In the music world, they call him Jay Nasty. I did not come up with that name. <laughs> this cake has a lot of different components and it was a lot of work. I didn't want to do it, I really didn't. But Jeremy asked me a year in advance and then he made sure every month of that year that I would do it for him because he was graduating. So I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> I really do like the way it turned out, so let's get started. Now to create this cake, the first thing I did was decide how big the largest drum was gonna be. It's the drum that's in the middle of the drum set, you know? The bass drum. I decided that my bass drum was gonna be a 10 inch round cake. So I began by leveling off my three 10 inch round chocolate cakes. Um, now for the smaller drums, I'm using six inch round chocolate cakes, as well as six inch round vanilla cakes. And for the smallest drum, I'm using a five inch round vanilla cake. So I'm gonna be creating five drums, I think. So we've got the bass drum, the big one in the middle, then we have the two rack mounted toms, and then we have the large floor tom, and then we have the snare drum. And we also have two hi-hats, the cymbals, the ba bum right? I should do research. I don't care enough though. <laughs> Jeremy's passionate about drumming. I'm not passionate about drumming. That's why I'm just making a cake. Now after I leveled off all my cakes, I started to stack all of them. Starting with my bass drum cake. I'm soaking my chocolate cake with some chocolate simple syrup, which is just chocolate sauce mixed with a little bit of filtered water. Equal parts chocolate sauce and filtered water. And I'm adding some buttercream in between each layers and sprinkling and incorporating in some chocolate chips. Chopped chocolate chips. I'm gonna stack my second layer and then repeat that process with the third layer. Now with the top layer, I'm just soaking the top of it with my chocolate simple syrup and flipping it over and placing it on top. Now I gave this baby a crumb coat. And then I started to work on my smaller cakes. Now for the larger rack mounted tom, I stacked two layers of chocolate cake. I'm soaking all of my vanilla cakes in a white chocolate simple syrup, which is just white chocolate sauce and equal parts filtered water. For the floor tom and the snare drum, I stacked vanilla cakes. Three vanilla cakes for the floor tom and two vanilla cakes for the snare drum. Now for the smaller rack mounted tom, I'm using my five inch vanilla cake. I gave all of these babies a crumb coat and then placed them into the fridge. I said before, I really didn't want to make this cake. I knew how much construction was gonna have to go into making all of the bases for each of the drums. Man, I didn't. I'm too lazy. If I wanted a drum cake for myself. I would have just drawn a picture of a drum and placed it on top of a Costco sheet cake. But this was for a person and they wanted it like this, so I had to do it like this. And I, I don't know how to say no. <laughs> now to create the rack mounts and the stands for each of the drums, I'm using PVC pipe and pipe couplers. I cut the PVC pipe into smaller pieces. And then to create the rack mounts, I joined a T-shaped coupler and two 135 degree couplers. And then at the end, I attached two 90 degree couplers. Now the 90 degree couplers I cut in half um, so that I could hog glue gun a cake board to the top of it. That's how my cakes are going to get held up. Now for the bass drum, I kind of cheated a little bit because I didn't think that the circle would hold. You know, it's a lot of cake pressure. So I'm using half of a 10 inch round dummy cake to create the bottom of the bass. Now I just cut half of the dummy cake away with a fillet knife. Then I used a hog glue gun to glue a cake board on top of it. I took my power drill and I just drilled a hole into the middle of my fake cake. Then use that half as a guide to cut away the excess chocolate cake. At the same time I was creating this drum cake, I was also creating this money cake. 
look at it, so beautiful. If you watch this video, then you know that the second and the third tier of the money cake are made from cake scraps. So the leftover cake that came from the base drum was actually used to create those layers. If you want to see that money flex cake, there's a video for you in the description box as well as at the end of the video. Make sure you check it out, that cake was really cool. Let's create the rest of my drum cake stands. I'm using a PVC pipe and a cake board that I drilled a hole into the middle. I just hot glue gun the PVC pipe into the middle of my cake board and then just cut it to size with my pipe cutter. Now for the base drum, I used a hot glue gun to glue my styrofoam dummy cake to the top of my cake board. Paste the top of the base drum on and then gave the entire thing a crumb coat. And I gave each of my cakes a second coat of buttercream, but it's not a complete second coat. I just wanted to make sure that the entire cake was as smooth and as flat as I could get it. You can totally give your cake a second coat of buttercream, but I'm doing this cake for free, so you get what you pay for. <laughs> and to decorate each of the drums, I placed a panel of white fondant on top and then I turned each of the cakes over. Now using my fillet knife, I just cut away the excess fondant on the top flipped it over again, and then added a red panel of fondant onto the sides. Now, very carefully with a paring knife, I made a straight edge and cut away the excess red fondant. And I just repeated this process with all the smaller cakes. I'm using Atlanta Falcons Red to cover this cake because that's his favorite football team. The one thing that I know about the Atlanta Falcons is that I don't know anything. <laughs> They do good. They're good at sports. <laughs> Congratulations for sports. Congratulations. Now the seam that's on the side of the drum, you can totally hide it if you mix fondant with a little bit of magic sauce or water and create like a fondant paste. You just like spackle it on and it gets rid of it. But they... You get what you pay for. <laughs> now creating this drum cake, this was actually one of the easiest process. It was just very monotonous. The same thing over and over and over again in different sizes. That's what she said. Now the entire time I was wrapping each of these cakes, I was listening to Lauren Hill. She's my favorite. It's really sad you guys, cause I was playing Lauren Hill in my car and my little cousin was like, is this a new artist? How come I've never heard of this? She's not new, she came out in the 90s. Come on, get get some uh, get some of the uh, music history in ya. If you don't know who Lauren Hill is, you need to go to iTunes and you need to download the miseducation of Lauren Hill. You're welcome, okay? And then down below, let me know your favorite track. Now for the bass drum, I covered the back of the cake with white fondant, and then I covered the front of the cake with black fondant. I just cut away the excess with a paring knife, and you're gonna wanna do this after you let the cake sit in the fridge for about five minutes. Fondant sets up, and it's really easy to get a clean, straight edge. I love Jeremy, you guys, but I didn't like working with him, man. I worked with him at Jamba Juice, and I remember one shift, he was in the back putting on his uniform for two hours. Two hours! Our, our shifts are only four hours long. <laughs> so I was making all the smoothies by myself. But it's okay, I didn't even complain because he makes me laugh and that made up for it. Now I added a large panel of red fondant to the top of the cake and then just wrapped it around the entire drum. Now I added some detail to each drum. It's just a strip of gray fondant. And I gave each drum a little bit more detail with gray fondant. I kind of got re really lazy. <laughs> so all of these details are not completely accurate. But one thing I did learn was that the more details you add to the cake, even though they're not accurate, the more it looks like an actual drum. Just use your imagination. I first met Jeremy and I asked him like, why do they call you Jay Nasty? He was like, cause I'm nasty on the drums. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get along with this guy. He's like super uber macho, very bro-ish. But then he was like, hey, you like pedicures? I love me a good pedicure. <laughs> Maybe I should read a few chapters before I judge this book. <laughs> Let's create J Nasty. I cut out a white piece of fondant in the shape of the J and adhered it to the black front of the bass drum with some magic sauce. I put the word nasty on top with red letters. I like, see you could read it like J Nasty. We probably read it like Nasty J though. I should have thought about that more but 
Oh gosh, they didn't pay anything. I must have eaten like a whole bunch of crackers. My mouth is so salty. <laughs> now once I finished all of my drums, I placed them into the fridge and I started to build the rest of my cake stand. Now because of my guy, I don't have a big fridge you guys, I had to do all of the cake stands separately. Otherwise I would have just done like a huge cake board and made it so that they were all like, you know, ready to go. I just hot glue gun PVC pipes into the middle of each cake board. And then for the two rack mounted toms, I glued a cake board to support each drum. Now to create the hi-hats and the cymbal stand, I took my PVC pipe and I inserted a dowel into the middle and just hot glue gun the dowel inside. I also used hot glue as stoppers to keep the hi-hats from sliding all the way down the dowel. Now all of the drum components needed to be silver. And I decided that everything that wasn't touching the cake would be covered in silver acrylic paint. Three coats of paint. I just painted every part of the drum base and I even painted some small dowels so I could give each of my drum bases some legs. I just glued the dowels to the bottom of each of the drum stands to make it look like an actual drum stand. I mean it's missing some detail and also the shapes aren't correct which is gonna bother me but also I was over it. <laughs> if you want to put more detail into your drum stand I, I applaud you you guys but I'm just too lazy. Now I did mess up a little bit because I forgot to shoot myself making the hi-hats. Basically a circular piece of mustard colored fondant that I added some HP, well, no, that's not what I meant. So. CMC, that's what I meant. I just let it set with a cotton ball in the middle for about a day so that I got that hi-hat shape. I could have reshot it too, but oh my gosh, I'm so over. I'm so over this video. <laughs> Is it okay if I'm just honest? Man, it was just so much work. Oh gosh. But everyone was really happy when I finished it. Created some drumsticks using tan colored fondant. I just rolled them out into logs basically. And then it was time to assemble this cake. And while I was assembling it, I was listening to Blink-182. They're from the 90s too. Do you know them? Some of you are pretty young, so I don't know if you know them. It felt cool to assemble a drum while listening to all the small things. Can't believe I was able to put this cake together. It's like my hands are doing magic. Placed on the last drum and finally my drumsticks. And voila, my J Nasty drum set cake was calm. Elite. And this cake was so sick. I am extremely proud of this cake mostly because I didn't want to do it and then I had to do it and then I did it. It felt amazing to have like this giant weight just lifted off my shoulders and I don't work out you guys so that weight was really heavy. <laughs> so his stage name was Jay Nasty. I think if I were a drummer or a musician my stage name would be like I want to say like K-pops, but that's like a whole genre of music, so I can't... Maybe like Rainbow Piglet? That sounds kind of cool. I'm curious, what would your stage name be and why? Why? I love Jeremy. I'm glad that he married my cousin and I'm glad he's a part of our family and you know like I'm very guarded around straight guys but Jeremy was very open and very loving from the beginning and so that's why I love hanging out with him. But if you ever work with him I'm very sorry for how much work you have to do to make up for the lack of work that Jeremy does. <laughs> And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab and you can be notified when a new video is published. And if you want to see more of Jeremy, you can follow him on Instagram at the drama man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you very soon. Peace!